Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 5. We're going to continue on to the worship area, I believe. Yep. Yay, no cutscene to start this one. <laughs> So this level's uh that's quite an interesting design and once again it's quite visually appealing. Shiver, you're just wasting ammo. They appear to be focusing sunlight into a laser like beam. Yeah, well, and you could have used that laser like beam to actually kill off that guy. See, so, that can be. Oh, damn it. That can be somewhat annoying. Um, the la the sunlight beams. Um, if you get caught on them, you have to kind of time things a bit more than usual in this level, um, which is a little bit irritating. But um, it's a it's a neat take on the old uh, laser pathway type stuff that you see in various games. Um, and it makes for a, Slightly more interesting design, I guess. To see an ancient version. Take this. Ah, that looks like a little a gold thingy to pick up, but I'd never noticed it before, so it was in fact a bullet hole. <laughs> now we get the uh, first emblem here. fight some more people. It's definitely, uh, this is definitely a level where you want, um, you want to bring the sniper rifle along, plus also, um, a magnum, because these guys take a fair amount of punishment. No, that's mine actually. Don't take it. But you get the uh, blue enigmas, so it's uh, good to take those guys out. Um, what do we got? Yeah, give that to me. I need ammo. Use this. You can be a pack horse for that for okay. the moment. And that can just get discarded. The reason I kind of get uh, less enthused about this second half of the game um, Okay, yeah, ow, that was poorly placed and now we're standing in the middle of the path um, It's just because the levels get longer and a little bit more tedious to complete um, Like, <laughs> Kind of odd that I'm complaining that a game gets uh, actually adds to the length when this is already a really short game. Okay, I'm just up in here. Um, oh crap. Run, run, run. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I always forget about that second one. Come on, Roger. And hopefully you don't get crisped. That was close, Shiver. Uh, what was I saying? I was talking about length of the game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt the uh, the sort of faster-paced action, I guess, of the earlier levels uh, was more agreeable. 
That guy's just gonna get burnt up to a crisp. That's gonna be fun to watch. <laughs> and just camp out here, let the uh let the sun do all of our work. That's pretty cool. Uh what are we doing then? So we'll go this way. I'm making a very cogent argument, are uh, am I? <laughs> About length of the game. So I keep getting interrupted by other interesting things I must commentate on. Um, yeah, no, I, I prefer the sort of it's a faster paced action. Uh, plus, I like the the level environments more. Um, from the earlier levels. Nice and crap. Cool. Animist. Damn. Okay, break out the magnum again. It's not exactly, um, I heard an interesting term, uh, regarding, like, weapons in games recently. I'm pretty, I don't know if it's a common u commonly used term, but, um, the whole infinity plus one or infinity minus one weaponry, uh, I wasn't familiar with that terminology, but I'm kind of thinking, like, uh, the whole idea of, it's not actually what I'm thinking of. Oh, my brain is all over the place today. Um, I sort of there's a term for like an item or a weapon that you pick up uh, in a game that's really powerful, but you refrain from using it because you don't want to waste it. And then you come up against situations where um, it would have actually been the perfect opportunity to make use of the item or the weapon in question. But you didn't use it, and you only realized this immediately after completing the section in which it would have been perfectly suited for. I'm trying to kind of not do that as much now. Like, I've kind of always treated the magnums in this game, like, when, when they're not, uh, when you don't have infinite ammo on, they're always sort of like a, a rare commodity. Like, the magnum ammo is pretty rare to pick up, so you don't want to waste it. So I end up sort of refraining from killing slightly more difficult enemies uh, easily with the Magnum, and instead like hammer away at it with weaker weaponry. I'm probably being overly cautious here, but I'm talking so I'm trying to uh, concentrate on what I'm doing. Okay, where are they coming from? Oh, hello. But, you, do you get what I mean? Like, there's a... Um happens a lot with like uh, buffs in games I find um, I never use buffs because it seems like they should be saved for more difficult bosses or um, battles later on and I get past these battles I'm like I don't use any of my uh, my buffs or anything and it was a total waste give me an herb Roger take this and you get to the end and you have like a huge okay you have a huge stockpile of these things and you haven't used a single one come on okay. oh, no what am i doing crap I need your help. Thanks, <laughs> don't know what happened there but uh that guy needs to die quickly Um, thing. 
things about gaming. <laughs> I don't know. I totally lost track of what I'm supposed to be saying. Okay. Calmness has returned once more. And we got three of four emblems. Now I saw a treasure back there. I can't remember if I picked it up or not. That's how distracted I am. Take it. Roger. Use this. Thanks, partner. Okay. Now where was that treasure located there? Okay, so I didn't get it. Once again, um similar levels of treasure to uh the previous level, though definitely not as much, but it's the same kind of stuff, you get all the repeatable gems in relatively uh, frequent, relatively frequent, um, so it's another good treasure level. Now I think I've missed something, have I? I always forget if it's... No, it's only three. There's four of them in a different section. There's four of them is from the uh, earlier level on the swamp. So that was easy enough. <laughs> Much easier than I actually in, had anticipated. So we got... Uh, we do have a, a unique... Where is my sniper rifle? We do have a unique treasure in this level. One of the diamonds. And it just sits right up here. It's the Trillion Diamond. It's only one BSAA emblem, but that comes a little bit later on. But yeah, the treasure the treasure yield is mainly picked up by the diamond, since that's worth a fair amount more than the regular treasures, so it sort of balances out there. Now, sneaky snakes. Eggy egg! Mine. <laughs> Um, yeah. So I don't quite, I don't really mind that, uh, yeah. I don't really, <laughs> I don't mind the, uh, the first half of this level. Um, the second bit is annoying because it's a really straightforward puzzle section, but it's very time consuming to do. And if you accidentally screw up, it's like a, it's an instant kill. Um, if you walk through one of the beams or if the, one of the beams catches you. So, uh, I mean, it's very difficult to screw up, but um. I see. There's a trick to getting out of here. Yes, there is a trick to getting out of here, Shiva. Those beams are dangerously focused. I was just explaining that to the audience. Well aware of it. Um. So yes, it's just irritating because it uh. <laughs> It's a really basic puzzle and it just it's time consuming. It makes it, like it worked. Are we finished? Um it makes it annoying to speed run this level for any particular reason. Um if you're looking to kind of just go through gather treasure or like say if you miss the diamond and you that have to go back but I think we can knock it over. and get it. Um you have to go back and get the diamond or whatever because you missed it. Um, oh, I was going to get that. Damn it. <laughs> um, it can be quite irritating to finish this off. Why am I even saying that? You can get the diamond and quit and save the inventory. So that's wrong. <laughs> okay. Well, say you're doing a... Um, you're trying to speed run the, uh, the game to get the infinite rocket launcher. That is a more acceptable example of what I'm talking about. Um, this level can kind of add a fair amount of time to your uh, to your game. Okay, I like to set up these mirrors before knocking down the pillar. That way it's just it's one simple thing and uh, you knock down the pillars and you're not at risk of getting fried It's really fucking dangerous doing this. <laughs> well, to 
do this in real life would be really dangerous. It's like, well, let's just kick over a pillar and put my foot right in the path of a deadly sunbeam. But of course, you just have to go over here. Another one down. What's next? And wait for Shiver to take a year to run over to the elevator. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, it just goes on and on and on. Um, you have three levels to do. Now yeah, there are these things. And hopefully that's all of them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't quite get how that trap works. Oh, uh, must, yeah, so you get hoisted up and then speared from all angles. Okay, but here's the BSAA, BSAA emblem, the only one on the level. So just, uh, grab that, and off we go. Um, there's a little bit more to this room because you can obviously unlock these other doors for more treasure options. Will that go in there? No, it won't. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay. I know what I'm doing. So yeah, I think you want to open to open those doors. You want to aim it at the uh, that dude there, and don't open the chest because it's a trap. Unless you want to kill more stuff. Yeah, I think there might be uh, another unique treasure or two in this section. Yeah, I think I think this uh, golden idol might be unique. Um, if not, doesn't matter because it's still. Uh, wait, do I have a grenade? <laughs> it's be a totally weird use of a grenade. No, just an incendiary. Okay, fine. Let's blow this open. Oh my god! <laughs> Wasting shotgun ammo is not a good idea. Because there's a lot of snakes in here and you will get bit. Two for one deal. Alright, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Still haven't found the, uh, I think it's the golden egg that I need in this playthrough. Still haven't found it in, uh, on the PC version, which I'm using. Um, I think that one, that one you have to, you have to kind of run around for ages to get the golden egg. Um, I think the beast place has been advised is to do it, uh, In the swamp level, uh, with the um, the hovercraft boat thingy, um, not hovercraft, just the the big fan boat. There's another snake. Uh, because the island in the center with the chickens is a good place to chase them around, and I think it's it's a rare drop from chickens, and they tend to lay eggs if you chase them. I think is the principle there. Ah, gold beetle, I think, is the unique treasure here as well. But as you can see, it's well worth opening these two doors and getting the extra treasure. Yeah. Alright, well that concludes this faffing about. Now we have to uh, redirect that mirror. And for that I kind of need to turn this away. <coughs> Just for the moment, so I can redirect this one. Ah, 
Oh wait, is that gonna work? Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> I played this uh, level co-op with my mate. Um, <laughs> we went through all this rigmarole. He was just waiting around on the steps for me to complete this section. And then of course we get to the end and he runs stupidly into this beam right here just in front of the elevator. <laughs> we had to repeat the whole thing all over again. And it was frustrating. That was uh That was the co-op game of many frustrations. Like missing the final quick time event and having to uh <laughs> read redo all that stuff. It's yeah. Lots of weird stuff going on. underground these are no ordinary flowers wait like anyone's been around for a while. You can be sure they wanted to keep this place a secret. Some of this equipment's got the Triso logo on it. Are they working together? Ooh, intriguing. <laughs> Not really. Um, it's a bit of a dull level I know uh, in terms of action. Like, it starts off good. Interesting laser beams and stuff like that. But yeah, the puzzle just kind of makes it drag on a little bit longer than you would like. But yeah, that's the end of chapter 4-2. I think that is the end of chapter 4 as well. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we start uh, chapter 5 next. Um, getting back into the really generic landscapes of survival horror. So uh, I'll be back with the generic landscapes of survival horror uh, fairly soon. So until then, have yourselves a good one, and I will catch you later.